Welcome to our show SAC Review. Now we have on board our Students General Secretary Mohammad Yasin. Welcome Mohammad to our show. Thank you Sneha. So we'll move on to our questionnaire. Firstly, we'll give uh, begin with the rating. You know, it is a quite impressive rating because more than 80% of people have given you a rating of more than 7 on 10, which is really good in uh, six months to get like this, you know, you should be really lucky and congrats on that. Yeah, glad to hear that. Thank you. So we move on to some of the pros which we have found, uh, which actually the students have found. So uh, first thing is, uh, you know, student being the student's general secretary, you are heading the SAC. So, you know, you, you are like a bridge between the students and the administrators. And people are, you know, telling that you have done a good job uh, being in that position. Again, congrats on that. And uh, also they have uh, told that you are the most influential secretary in this act. So what do you have to say on that? I, I do not know what to say. Thanks to, to the people who have worked with me and who have helped me all this way. Okay. So now regarding the uh, constitution. Uh, when we asked people uh, regarding, you know, the constitution, where they informed uh, about this, 50% of the people told that uh, updates are uh, sent reg uh, regularly. And uh, <laughs> some of them have actually not, you know, they don't even know that such thing is happening in our campus. And some of them are not bothering about that. So if you don't mind, can you share some updates in the show now? Yes. Uh, so uh, I will start from the position in which I began. So when I had started over as a general secretary, so I had also written in my manifesto about the constitution. So let me tell you why it is important, because uh, if you look at it more closely, then you can see that the clubs or the student activities or the budget itself or everything that lies around it. In fact, even the elections, we do not have a formal written procedure across. So it has been more than five years that SAC is functioning in this institute. And now it is high time to get it formalized. Otherwise, in the incoming people or the next people who are going to take up this post and all, they may not have a clear idea. And also, everything needs to be written. Otherwise, how will we know that there is a club existing? And this is a procedure to start a club in institute and how much budget is to be allocated. So, constitution is in a way becoming, uh, in a way to create it in a more formal way as well as in a more transparent way so that any student can understand what is going on and there is nothing like a, uh, there is nothing like preventing them from accessing what is to be known to everyone. So when I started over, I could find that there was a draft put up by the previous secretaries. In fact, I should credit the previous secretaries because this work has been starting, I think, from the time of the first general sec, if I am not wrong. So the draft was put up and then it went for review. Again, again, drafts were putting up. So finally, I think the present working draft, I had continued over from Chaitanya. So he was the general secretary in 2018. So in December 2018, he had put up a proposal to the then dean putis And then we were kind of revising the draft because many things have changed from there. We didn't have the PG office secretary or like that many posts were there. So we were kind of editing with all my fellow SOC members. And then we had taken consultation from the previous SOC members. And then we had put up a draft proposal. But uh, that was kept for the review for the, around two months. But unfortunately, then we had a dean change. So uh, it took some time to get around with it again. So after that, we came to know the structure and all was very nice. But uh, like we need something to build upon. So in fact, if you read the draft, then you can see that there is a board of students and there is a club and there are club members, faculty advisors. In fact, we do not know if you look at it closely, we do not have any structure like that formally yet. So we are on the way for that. Now the board of students are already formed. Now the clubs are officialized. If you if you have been following my mails, then you will come to know. Yes. Now faculty advisors are also officialized. So slowly, slowly we are building up. But I have to say that is a very long process because it includes a lot of chapters and all those. And a lot of, in fact, it is uh, quite different because other secretaries are also putting up a lot of work. I think that it is being projected as my own work. That is not true. Others are also kind of working with me. And right now, me and Pawan are going through the drafts of most of the older IITs to see if we are lagging of something in our proposal. Okay. So, uh, thanks for the information on that. Now, uh, it's uh, we can't say it as a drawback. It's actually a drawback from the student side because whatever communication you have to do, especially you know in a situation like this during this pandemic, you can only do it through mails. But the thing is that when you're conveying through mails, uh, most, a majority of people doesn't even bother to look through it. 
like we are asked a few questions like regarding the uh, tender for uh, mnt center then regarding the feedback form for our uh, sac website the thing is that uh, most people don't even know these things had happened mainly because they were not uh, you know checking on the mails so do you think you know some other means of com- if you had some other option that would have been better one thing is uh, we are lacking in this person semester is in fact the peer to peer communication so mails have become a single source of communication but i i should say nothing will replace the peer to peer communication so in regard to that uh, i thought of having a portal and a feedback form that would have been helpful but that also didn't quite work out then we had set up a discord channel for the call sessions and all so in fact i think the fourth years are using it other uh, other than that i think they are also not using it so the problem in this kind of setup is that whatever we try it can be through only electronic media if not mails then they could have used some discord or something but again that is also not that much accessible i cannot blame students also it is kind of a drawback but what i do is uh, like you can cross check with students all i reply to almost all of my whatsapp messages sometimes it can be a bit late but i kind of uh, keep track with them through whatsapp messages and in fact we also do not know what can be a better communication platform this day okay yeah it was an unpredictable scenario but anyway you guys have done a good job on that next is uh, a, a small suggestion from the student side uh, regarding the academic uh, internships and stuff you know when continuously when mails are coming it's difficult to track especially for ca students because they get a lot of opportunities so it would be better if you can like uh, uh, you know have a portal for that so that it would be easier to browse through also so yeah i understood so we can try to have a hook around our sac website and the academy section that is a good suggestion we can try we can try forward thank you yeah and uh, also there's one more thing you know uh, there was an issue uh, when that my tax in, uh, internship opportunity came uh, you could have been you know a little more alert right before uh, sending something like that correct me if i am wrong i have been informed that uh, our institute was, was not listed under my tax this time yeah, right that so was a problem. what happened was last time till last time they had an others option so we used to put ourselves under the others option but right today this time this year they had uh, cancelled that others option so uh, we were also not expecting that to happen but anyway whoever it is it's uh, we take the responsibility we could have been more alert i will try to discuss with the ss yeah then uh, this was a question that came to uh, the acad secretary but i would like to present before you also regarding you know exams like toefl ielts and all so um, you know uh, actually we got a mail during uh, the initial stage of our quarantine uh, that was actually study materials so it would be better if you could organize a training session not a training session maybe like a you know one hour session on what these exams do and all because most people are not aware of that and after btec most people uh, prefer to go for higher studies where this exam is important so this is a suggestion from my side uh, but there is another side to that if you look upon it actually alumni cell had been organizing talks around these topics with the panelists actually who have cleared these exams and all. but we didn't have quite a good number of attendees and uh, again i think yes, this uh, uh, this was also a suggestion that came on in the f- form uh, i think it should be a person from mechanical or uh, civil engineering uh, they don't get enough internship opportunities and all they find it very difficult like uh, it's mostly research internship or nothing so is, are you trying to like improve uh, on that situation Ah uh, yes, but unfortunately, the in the current situation, it is the non-circuit branches which are affected the most. But I am in touch with our neighbor institutes like Kinetic Calculus and other prominent institutes. But this year, it has been a tough time for mechanical and civil. You can see that among all the institutes across all the institutes, it has gone down. The numbers have gone down. But we are trying to keep up through that. Uh, from SAG, what we, me or Tina had been doing is that we are trying to organize talks with the companies. or uh, through iec or through some conferences and we are trying to convert them into potential resources so at this point of time that is the only way in which we can work out because on site visits and all those are not possible so my uh, request to the students is that whenever we see that a company talk is being organized or something please take it more seriously because that can potentially turn into something of an offer or something yeah you know the problem actually is uh, uh, most people end up getting research internship when they really want an industry exposure that's why it becomes a problem 
Yes, I understood that. But you know, in the last year, I think we had offers from BEML and all. But this time, in the situation, that also went down. So that is also a reason why there have been actually like no offers at all in the course. Okay, okay. So next is a general question. Uh, we are asked the students like, whom do you think the uh, SAC is favoring? Either the student side or the uh, institute side. And majority have answered that it's favoring the institute side. Why do you think such an opinion came? I really do not understand why such a mindset is there among our students. Like um, institute side or student side, I think both both of the sides are similar. So personally, I would like to say that when I when I was being, uh, taking in charge of the general secretary, then the reviews were quite negative. So the reviews I got from the previous secretaries or from any fellow students were like, like it is just a post and they won't be given any powers and your opinions will not be taken into consideration and all. But I felt it quite the opposite way. Like uh, this has been the best experience I ever had in this campus because in almost every meeting or every committee I am being taken into, and my opinions are being asked and they are taken with care. Okay. So I, I think it's just uh, what is it? The gap between administration and the students that the students are feeling that they are favoring the administration side or uh, not the students side and all. Actually, we look forward to every potential solution in every committee, and um, the students' opinion is being taken through me, myself, or through Tina or someone, even in the Senate. Uh, I do not really know what is the reason. Maybe it is because of the lack of communication gap between the students and the administ- administrations. That might be the reason. But uh, hopefully, I think through these emails and all, even from the students' responses, that uh, they think that I am doing a good job. I think it's mainly because of this. Uh, I usually try to put everything through email. So maybe the students are getting an idea that they are being informed. So that is one way in which we can reduce that. Actually, I would like to again emphasize that there is not two sides. Both of them are working in the same side only. But when you sit together and look for a collaborative solution, actually things turn out to be good. That happened in case of amenity center. Uh, amenity center is a good example because students were thinking that institute won't care for that at all. But when we presented the problem in a very, a very presentable way, that thing actually worked out. So I don't think that there are there are two sides. Actually, we have to look for something. collaborative for the betterment of the institute yes, regarding the sac website you know one highlighting feature of your tenure was that the website for uh, uh, sac was launched it is a great achievement for you guys uh, can you share uh, how it is going like uh, you know do you think people are using it or is it just idle no the main use was happening around the btec admission so the mtec admission Mm-hmm. So before that, you know, there was nothing listed around SCC or the club activities or something like that in the institute website. Mm-hmm. So it's mainly a subsection under the activities that there is a student affairs council. That's all. So this time we had listed out all the clubs, all the members, and the pages that has actually helped the outsiders to get more insights into this, rather than insiders. So the main idea behind the portal was to create an image for ourselves, the for the student body outside the institute, so that if you are a potential candidate who is looking. to join IIT Palakkad then there should be something to look upon and in that way i think we have done a good job because you know even the portal crashed once at the time of peak admissions i was getting requests from most of the parents that we saw this in this web page can you elaborate more on that about the club center so in that way i think it is been quite successful and the whole credit goes to not me the entire scc the all secretaries were there and in fact the developers and uh, content editor had put a lot of work for them. so uh, next is like um, more of a personal question from my side uh, this sem has been quite hectic you know uh, it is very hectic in fact uh, because most of us every work which we have to do is in in the laptop it we don't have anything else so mostly 24/7 we sit in front of laptop it's quite stressing you know in such as a time you could have uh, organized something you would have told right like the main problem which we face now is the communication between peers so you could have brought about something that you know some kind of program so some something you know together so that it will reduce the stress level also uh, that is uh, true it is not that we didn't consider something like that but you know the responses we get from such programs are actually very low in fact i tried to continue this eml series but you know in, even in the sports eml i do not know there were not much responses even after bringing something like cinemol powders but uh, left apart then one more thing is that students feeling hectic means all the clubs and all the club members are also little bit hectic only so we are thinking of bringing in channel general championship in the month of december to get as a break but in between this online academic semester even after we ask a club to organize something for some event either we lack the number of participation or we lack the number of organizers 
so it is actually very challenging because uh, the organizers are also feeling hectic in that it is like that way and the participants are also not feeling to participate because uh, i do not know maybe because of the hectic schedule we had many events in the especially from the cultural side but you know the participation was not that great so we are looking forward to a big championship in december at least when the beta courses are over so that we will get back to, uh, some kind of this vibe back into the community yeah is there any interaction between yeah. seniors and the yeah. coming freshers yeah, yeah. so uh, as i have said uh, we, if you have any kind of ideas or that there will be definitely interaction sessions but if you have some kind of interactive ideas to bring about interaction between these two people the people who are joining and also the people who have been here for a long time that would be great so any kind of suggestions you can just speak me so that we can look into it other than that we are trying to set up something like student buddy this time for the first years so they will be paired up with a third year or a fourth year student and they can ask anything like like a guide personal guide so something like that we are bringing it some kind of modification to the student mentorship program but apart from that any programs or any suggestions to make this interaction active are most welcome student body is definitely a good initiative um, you know i was thinking of this also because when we came we had this 14 day orientation class obt we got to know each other like uh, our batch mates better because of that so how is it going uh, you know for the coming freshers yeah so student body will be i think uh, if you have listened to student student body will be someone from third year or fourth year just to guide them in many areas in the institute like how to approach and all those but regarding the other thing among across their batches uh, actually i am also looking for solutions sometimes back a student avneet had given given us an option it was put across dean also to try for something like a random chat setup but you know um, it depends on the comfortable uh, how how much comfortable they are the batch the students to use these kind of features and all so like better ideas may be existing among the students itself so that is why all of you who are hearing this if you have any kind of suggestions or ideas to make it more interactive then they are most welcome okay so are they going to have a orientation setup or is it like is it di- uh, directly to classes uh, they have a one week orientation setup but you know it will be only not only so that is an issue so they'll be called back only after i mean next year right yeah unfortunately they will be the what you say the lowest priority batch <laughs> to be called back so i think by december uh, you know mid december you will be calling back uh, batch by batch so uh, how is it going to be there like if you don't mind can you explain like the quarantining and all it is in fact very challenging uh, but you know so oh, as an institute we are all prepared actually to face all these type of things we had uh, an sop like standard operation procedure what to do in case someone gets reported or something uh, happens in the institute long back so we have a separate committee for that and all those are prepared actually our staff is doing a wonderful job especially hostel staff and samuel sir and in fact all the three deans dean academics dean research and dean students they have thought through it very well and so i think let us hope for the best it's going to be challenging but let us see how it turns out and i am really hopeful that uh, this entire corona episode like what do we call it it will come down so so that at least i will be getting back a chance to go back to the campus oh yeah you're actually in co- computer right yeah so i personally i do not have a chance even after going through all this committee and all okay. so thanks for joining us uh, is there anything you want to say to the students yeah i have to say something uh, one thing is start reading more mails because i do not know what is the other point of communication between all of you at this point of time and next thing is uh, like this is an advice including to myself don't just restrict yourself to the uh one sphere that is one thing i actually realized after taking the post you know a major portion of our students are actually limiting themselves to either academics or not being active in the kind of yeah. student activities and to add on to that we have actually a very less student strength so ultimately what will happen is when we look for activities and kind of initiatives we have a very small pool to choose from in fact i think it's almost around 25% of our students right yeah. so but we really do not know where is our uh where is our expertise or what can be interest to, interesting to us so do not limit yourselves and be open to all the opportunities i can assure you that if you if you make use of all the opportunities that this institute provides it is a really great thing because i think i myself is a person who have done that to some extent so make use of all the opportunities you do not know what is ahead okay so thanks for that uh thanks for joining us in this show hope you enjoyed it
yeah yeah it was nice talking to you thank you so much and uh, thank you cameras for it okay so with that we'll wind up uh, this talk with uh, our general secretary thank you